Martin from Turatec again. Um, our colleague in the background is already working on the suspension that takes two or three hours. Um, so he already started. I will join him later for building up the other things. Um, we're talking about the hydroforming skid plate here. Um, why you need protection on the bike, either with a skid plate or with a crash bar, we can see here on this um, engine cover. Um, you just drop the bike once, there is a big stone, and if the stone hits directly into this um, cover, then it breaks, there is a hole in it, it's a very thin material. Um, the result is um, the oil leaks and uh, the trip is over. Um, this is why we have two different versions of the skid plate here. Tilo, you're the expert, the portfolio manager. You also uh, are a rider of the old RD07 or have been rider of that. You also were involved into the development and um, the selection of products for the new Africa Twin. Um, so tell us a little bit about those both. Skid plates. Skid yep. plates, yeah. Um, we decided to have uh, two different versions. Uh, this is a little bit caused by the uh, DCT version uh, where we don't have the place to have that uh, massive, huge uh, thing there. So we decided to have a, a little bit uh, lower here, uh, but nevertheless, there is the same protection from the uh, impact point for both versions. Um, we did it as a, a hydroforming uh, part uh, that uh, causes that we can have a, a really nice shape, a little bit uh, related to the older African twins with the three-piece uh, uh, skid plate, and uh, both of them have a four millimeter a strong aluminum which is uh, mounted to a, a connection plate of stainless steel to the uh, engine itself. Okay, you were mentioning the hydroforming topic. Um, that means that four millimeter aluminum is quite stiff but a little bit softer than um, normally. Um, that means uh, if there is an impact it bends. Um, it is supposed to bend because if it doesn't bend the whole um, pressure from the stone, from the impact is being directed into the frame which we don't want. Um, but that means it is being absorbed here by the, by the skid plate. It is being ex uh, absorbed as well as it is a little bit divided into a greater uh, area so that the, the single impact point is not that hard and so we protect the uh, mounting points. You were mentioning the DCT topic but I don't have a DCT bike. Nevertheless, I was choosing, choosing this one. Actually, one of the reasons is because um, I wanted to have additionally to a proper skid plate a special protection for the for the um, engine plus later on the protection for the um, for the covers for the plastics. Um, so this version is not only for the DCT; it's also if I want to use the lower crash bar and the upper crash bar. So it is. It is also uh, intended to be used together with the lower uh, lower crash bars um, that are really uh, rugged construction of uh, thick tubes. Okay, um, we have this version here in silver and in black. Of course, I chose the black version. Um, what, what, are, what is the co color? The color is, uh, uh, is anodized because it's an uh, aluminum surface. So we have the chance to uh, anodize it, um, which is really a, a thin but really hard uh, surface that uh, doesn't scratch that fast. Okay, so we'll mount that in a few minutes. Um, before that, we'll have a look at the um, crash bars that are coming with one of those skid plates so that you can see how they work. Tilo, you have been riding quite intensively also with the old Africa Twin, also with this one. And we have been already talking about the skid plate that it's needed to protect the engine underneath. Um, here we have, a, we have a crash bar. This is a lower crash bar that perfectly fits, fits to that skid plate. Tell us a little bit about uh, this crash bar. As all of our crash bars, we are also uh, making these uh, Africa Twin crash bars out of uh, stainless steel which, uh, with a uh, tube thickness of at least two uh, millimeters. Uh, the diameters are a little bit depending on design. Um, stainless steel uh, has the uh, fortune that you don't have any uh, rusty thing on, on that. Um, and if you hit the ground uh, by a hard impact, um, nothing happens to the bike. So uh, we have this done uh, as rugged as we can and as narrow to the bike as we can. Okay, you were talking about um, the corrosion on, on stainless steel parts. Normally we have this shiny silver versions. Mm -hmm. They are electro-polished, so the surface is very hard. It doesn't scratch that much. 
um, and it doesn't corrode, as you said. Um, what is with this? It is uh, the same, but we don't have uh, another surface. So we have here a black powder coated uh, uh, version. Uh, nevertheless, beneath that, there is a stainless steel. Okay, of course I use the black version. Um, this one is going on top of this um, skid plate, more yeah. or less. So um, it, it's kind of like protecting it here. Um, we, have the, we have the cover of the engine here. So you say this is more or less like works. This is uh, how it works, uh, how it looks like, and how it works. Uh, so for me, for example, it is uh, always good to have the uh, the thing in mind that uh, if I once uh, drop the bike down, I have the uh, security not to damage anything because it's laying on the tube. Okay, so uh, a stone must be looking pretty weird to um, after mounting this, um, damaging the engine. Um, Additionally to this, uh, we'll discuss about the upper crash bar in a second. Um, so this is probably going to protect the engine completely as much as it can. And um, how about effects of, the, um, of shifting or braking? So um, if I have big feet or boots on, uh, is that interfering into something? No, the construction is done in that way that you don't have any uh, influence, uh, even if you have a boot uh, size uh, 48. Okay, so hopefully nobody has 49 or 50. <laughs> um, okay, we talk about the upper crash bar later. I think this is going to protect my engine of the Africa Twin and I can be very relaxed when dropping the bike once or twice. Okay.